it's, it's yeah, more of a personal connection when you hear stories from your um, your court or your grandparents about um, you know tsunami events that have happened in the past. So kia ora. we have a question from Marion from Palmerston North um, and she's asking why do we always worry about tsunami when they only cause really small waves in New Zealand? So that's a really good question Marion and um, I can understand where you're coming from. So Māori um, have knowledge and experience of tsunami from long before Pākehā arrived in New Zealand um, from hundreds and hundreds of years ago um, and some of these events are really devastating. So where I'm from um, in Whadakaudi, Ririokohu, Chatham Islands, we had a tsunami in 1868 from Arica in Chile and that caused six metre waves that arrived unexpectedly um, during the night and washed away um, a few whare in the Tupuangi um, village and also um, washed away some of our people. Since then um, we now have official tsunami warning systems in place um, so we receive warnings from uh, for tsunami that come from distant sources so they are those that are more than three hours travel time away um, for example Chile and we also get them for regional sources which tend to be um, one to three hours travel time away so for example the Tom Tonga Kumadek Trench. So this also means that we receive more warnings than we ever have before. Um, so when the Geohazards 24-7 Monitoring Centre and the National Emergency Management Agency receive um, information that we might have a tsunami threat, we don't always have all the information we need um, from the get-go. So sometimes um, warnings can change. So more information comes in as time goes on and that means warnings can change, um, they can be upgraded or they can be downgraded which is what we've seen in the last few years in New Zealand. Um, you know we've had a tsunami alert and then the waves have been small when they've arrived here luckily. Um, but in the past we have had big tsunamis and they might happen again so it's really important that we're all prepared um, for those events. Know where the evacuation zones are, um, have a whānau plan and practice your tsunami hikoi or your evacuation route. Um, it's important that everyone in Aotearoa is ready. So I hope that answers your question.